What's up guys? Welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. In today's video, we're gonna be planting bell peppers. We're gonna plant some vanguards. I've got the bed ready. Got a compost in, it's raked out. I still have to put the drip irrigation down. We gotta put the holes in, we gotta do the amendments. But I'm gonna show you some tricks that I use to up the production of our pepper plants. And we're gonna do that right after this. Welcome back guys. So peppers and tomatoes are in the same family group. They're in the nightshade family, but you have to plant peppers and tomatoes just a little bit differently. Whereas you can plant a tomato plant as deep as you want to and it'll still root. You can go all the way up to the bottom set of leaves. Now on a pepper, you don't want to do that so much because you will get it, uh, what they call root rot. It'll get too deep and it'll actually slow the production down on it. What I generally like to do is, to, as deep as I've got it in the cup, I don't go very much deeper than that. I'll keep it about the same all the way down. But there are a few things that I do different. And then let me get one I haven't trimmed up yet. You can see this guy here, he got leaves all over him. And if you think about it, um, the higher nitrogen fertilizer you use, it will put on a lot of green growth. And when plants are young like this, that's what I do. I use a lot of nitrogen to get them to produce a big stalk you can see how big that stalk is but the downside of that is it puts on a lot of green growth it puts on a lot of leaves and what we have to do and i'm gonna try to get situated so i can show you what we have to do is take that green growth off let me get this camera set down and i'll show you all right so now we got situated so what i'm going to do is go through here and you can see all this green growth below the fruit and what we're basically going to do is we're going to go through here and we're going to trim all that off and free some of this up because you know what you don't want to do is have your plant trying to keep these leaves up and using all of this energy for that when it should be forcing this energy into making fruit now you can look at the very top of this plant and you can see it's already got peppers on it but right here where these limbs have split you can see there's three different stalks you want to see that on your pepper you do want to see that because um, if this plant hadn't have split like it has what we would do, we would top that plant out so it would force it to split. Now, that's how you up your production. You see how it made one piece of fruit right here? But look real close, you can see on these, it has already put on fruit on each one of these branches. So that's what, whenever you got a smaller pepper plant, let me see if I can find one. Like this guy here. See, it haven't split yet. So what we would do, we would go in here and we would take the top out of that plant, just like this. And what that's going to force it to do, it's going to force it to branch. And when it does, then you'll get fruit off of both sides of it. And that's how you up the, produ the production of your pepper plants. All right, guys, so we got the drip tape in. You can see, and I got the water on. You can see the water coming out of the emitters. Now, this is a six inch emitter drip tape, and I got one of them cut off. I need to cut that on. Cut that on, and you can see how the water starts coming out of here. So, six inches apart. And I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I might have said 20 inches, but with this drip tape, we're going to have to do every 24 inches, and that's still okay. That's still going to give us 50 plants, maybe 52. I had to. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be a gracious plenty because we're gonna plant right beside an emitter. We're gonna put like right here where this water's coming out, we're gonna put that plant right here. So we know that that plant's getting plenty of water and we'll offset them so they're, you know, 12, 24 inches apart. You know, each row will be offset. So we'll have a plant and then on the other side, there'll be a plant, so on and so forth. You'll get it, you'll see what I'm talking about when we start putting them in the ground. And we got our irrigation running, so I know exactly where I wanna put these plants. So, 
24 in inches is what we said we were going to do. And that's going to be a gracious plenty for peppers. And we got plenty of other places we can plant them. So it's not like these are the only peppers we're going to have going in the ground. All right guys, so we got the holes two feet apart. You can see like every fifth emitter is where we're putting them. And I got garden tone. I'm gonna go down through here and I'm gonna put a tablespoon and a half. That's the big end of this scoop. A tablespoon and a half in each one of these holes before we put these plants in the ground. I've got one side done. We'll go ahead and knock this out just for time, for the sake of time in this video. But we'll go ahead and get these in the ground and then I'll give you a shot of everything once it's done. All right, so we got all the plants laid out. I got everything trimmed up and I went ahead and cut off all the fruit that were on these. I mean, what we want these plants to do is put their energy into getting established and, uh, you know, getting a good root base before they start putting on any kind of fruit. Now, there's blooms all over them and it's probably some tiny peppers that I'm not seeing, but there's no big peppers. And I did, I cut some peppers off about yay big around. So what we want these plants to do is go ahead and get established before they start putting on fruit. And uh, we're gonna get these things put in here. I think there's 26 of those plants in here. And I was wrong, I didn't have enough to finish out the other row. So what I'm gonna do is take and put the jalapenos that I got right beside it. And um, you know, I know what some people are gonna say, well, you're gonna cross pollinate and your bell pepper's gonna be hot. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, now, if I took the seeds off of these bales and planted them, the fruit off of those might be hot. Well, I might have a little heat to them, but the bell peppers here, it, it'll be fine. We can plant jalapenos beside bales and we shouldn't have any problems. All right guys, just like the bells, we got fertilizer in the holes, we got all the plants laid out, and we trimmed all the leaves off of the jalapeno plants. And you can see that these guys here have also started to bloom. Got one hanging off of there, but they have also split. You can see up here at top, right here, you got another arm coming off, and eventually this guy here will turn into another arm. So we weren't, we're not gonna pinch the top side of these. These guys look like they're already gonna split for me. So we're going to go ahead and put them in the ground like they are and uh, get everything ready to go. All right, guys, so that's it. We got all of our bell peppers in. These are Vanguard, and we got all our jalapeno peppers in, which are jalapeno early. There's 26 bell pepper plants. There's 25 jalapeno plants, and they're spaced two foot apart. Now they're on drip tape. I got a drip running. I've had it running since we started, so these guys are watered in really good, and... They are going to be on the same setup as my tomatoes and the cucumbers. We got them on a lower nitrogen, but higher phosphorus and potassium fertilizer. I want to say it is 41838. That's what we got them on. So it promotes the plant to put on more blooms and it actually helps with the root base too. So it gives it more establishment in the root zone and helps put on more fruit. So that's why we use it. We don't need a real big bushy plant. We just need a plant that's going to put on a lot of fruit and that's why we use it. All right, I'm going to get off here and get busy, guys. If you missed the video when I put the ridge pole up in this tunnel, this guy right back here, I'm going to put a link to it right over here. So go back and watch that video. And if you found anything useful, anything entertaining, or just want to know more about our farm, click the subscribe button over here in the corner. As always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.